we're going to take a quick look at doing a backup for Zen App 6.5 and we're going to restore the database so we can see what happens if somebody goes in and messes something up. The servers that we're going to be touching because they are Zen App related will be 192. This is the actual Zen App server itself. 193 is the license server. We can back up the license server the same way we back up any of the other servers and the web interface so we're not going to do much with these but 195 is the SQL server that's holding the database for Zen server so we will be touching that one so we're going to start by doing a backup of the database as it is so I've created a job for it let's go ahead and run the backup now immediate start I'm going to do the backup into a media pool and it is started so it is 1955. Let's go ahead and go into our backup tab. Our backup is active and successful. Pretty quick backup, not a huge database. Let's go over to Zen App and in Zen App, let's go ahead and go to the Zen App Center and mess around with our system a little bit. So in the center we have applications, our applications that are published our Firefox calculator. Let's just go ahead and mess with our browsers. We're going to have somebody come in and delete the application. And so it's gone. We're going to want to get that back and we're going to just create a user. Add an administrator. Let's do a domain user. We will log into the domain. and we're going to just grab a default user we'll grab the guest user since it really should never be an administrator on the system okay we'll say next we'll give them full administrative rights so we've got a guest admin need to get rid of it and we've lost one of our applications so let's go ahead and close this and go over to our SQL server now we have a backup. We did the backup when we started. We're going to go ahead and go into the SQL Management Studio. We know that it's corrupt. We want to do a restore. So we're just going to go into our databases. Quickest and easy way, let's go ahead and detach and drop that database. Gone. We're going to go back to our SEP system backup. Let's go to the clients and we're going to do a restore task for this backup that we did. Backup task is there. We have several of these that have run. We noted earlier it was 755 when we were going to do that. We're going to do a complete restore and we're going to overwrite the existing file. It's already been dropped so it should go ahead and just overwrite and then we should have it auto add back into the database we restored everything into the original location so we shouldn't have to do anything except for verify and 758 it is done let's go back to our SQL server and if we do a refresh on our database we'll see that this is back let's go back over to Zen app let's go into Zen app center and let's see if our application is back and the user is gone so we've fixed any corruption that's happened to the database administrators that user is gone applications our application is back if we have a file level somebody has something on their desktop you want to restore it for the profile or let's just say we have a file on the system so we're gonna have somebody come in here go into the utils directory we're just gonna delete this file that's in here we can go back into the system, go over to our clients. The server is 192. We do have a backup of that drive. We can do a new restore task. So we're going to make sure our restore is in 192 on the C drive. We're going to restore this. And we're only going to restore one file. We don't want to restore the entire system it's just trying to get one item back so let's dig down into the system c colon 
utils sep and we're going to grab the one file that we deleted. Next we're going to restore to the original path don't overwrite existing files in this case it's not existing because we deleted it it's gone if we go back to our restore tab we'll see that the job is active should not take too long it's going to give us an info saying that the original path already existed but it should have put the file back and let's just make sure that's not cached and the files there